All right, so I'm going to be removing most of this uh, wall metal. Um, this is just a plate. There was a sliding window right here uh, for horses. I'm going to remove that. And I'm also going to be removing this plate here. And I'm going to open this up. We're going to build a whole new wall. So uh, stay tuned. I'll show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is just grind out these tack welds and then once I get most of that out, I'm going to end up cutting all this metal out. and cut some from out there. place it as well but uh, that's what we got so what I'm gonna be doing is I've got this two inch flat bar so it's two inch it's an eighth one eighth thick and uh, originally there was one vertical support here for this wall I cut out some extra stuff and I want there to be two so I'm gonna put these on here and uh, mark them, get them ground out. And I'm gonna build what's essentially a, kind of like a lattice work um, of metal on here to really support this wall good and support uh, the wood and just make it a really solid trailer. Okay, so what I want is for each vertical support to be 24 inches on center from the, uh, from the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this. Get 
get your Sharpie. We're gonna measure 24 inches from the edge there. And we're gonna measure 24 inches from this other side. Got it, it's just rough. And so it should be, so we got an equal distance between them. So we're sitting pretty there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use scrap flat bar and I'm gonna be able to measure kind of how much I need to take out to get this in there. So I'm gonna use this kind of as a template. Now I know how much I need to grind out to get those in there. So let's get to grinding. Now with our notches cut out here and here, that flat bar will fit right in there, both of those. And so we'll have it to the frame there and to the frame up here tied together, and then we'll put like a lattice across it too. So that's what I'm gonna do next is get that in there, get those tacked in and ready to go. So I'm taking our strap iron or flat bar, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm mounting it to where it'll be just inside the frame, just inside this fender. And I'm gonna look up here. I got these uh, kind of like vice grip clamps. They're super cheap. I'll put a link to them too, but they're also very, very handy. So I'll kind of put that in there, and then I've got to get me a right angle or plumb and figure out if I'm plumb here. So you get your pocket level, bullet level, whatever you want to call it, and you can put it on there, and it'll tell you if you're plumb, put it on the side there. up here where I'm going to cut and I'll make a cut to be sure this is the proper length to tack up here and tack to the fender and tack to the uh, frame down there. I'll do the same thing with this bar over here and that's that's how you plumb it up. All right, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to tack this, tack these in place. That's just one little, one little spot weld so that you can still adjust and also if something was really off then you could grind that back off really easy and weld again so that's all i'm going to do i'm going to check i'm going to put this up here check for plumb and tack it So now that is tacked in place and it is plumb. Plumb means the bubble 
you know, your level. Uh, I was going to show you, but I don't know if I can show you. So, now that I'm still plumb, I'm going to go ahead and tack here and tack there as well. Now that I'm good, I'm just going to go ahead and run me a bead, a bead, and a bead, and that piece will be in. And I'll do the same thing with this one, same thing with the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So, when I get this done, I kind of show you, I'll come in close and I'll show you, okay? So before I do this top one, I want to bring you in close and show you the beads and the palm and the tack weld up there before I weld that forward. This is what I mean by plum. You see there that bubble? That's showing you that you're plum. All right, we're perfectly plum there. This is a spot weld. See that? That's just tacked in just to hold it in place. And then I got, I'll clean them up, you know, with a grinder, but I got bead there, bead there. And then on this fender, I got a bead there. And really that's, now that's tacked in. You just keep going and uh, I'll show you the final results. So you see you got your weld there, weld there, weld there, weld there. And of course they're welded down at the frame too. And so now what I'm going to do is run a cross member across there like that. Now these are really solid already, but I'm just going to go ahead and run a cross member across there. Okay, so my verticals are in place and I'm going to put this horizontal across here. I've got it held up there. I got it level. Uh, my fender's level. So you need to be sure and everything's level before you, you go uh, trying to level this or you'd not be off but i want it to kind of follow the body lines of the trailer itself so that's what i've got it set up so i'm going to do is i'll tack it here and then i'll actually make some cuts along the way and then tack those in place as well and then uh, weld them in place and then that's what i mean by kind of a grid wall or a lattice is uh, that this wall will have uh, plenty of support.